Welcome to today's video. I have been putting out vlogs lately that haven't been giving much value at all. They're like three to four minute videos because I've just been struggling lately to come up with, you know, some content of my day that isn't too boring because most of the days that I've been spending lately have been at home just working on the computer and computer work can get so boring at times when I'm just working on the computer all day and I don't want to sit there, hey guys, I'm doing this on the computer, now I'm doing that on the computer. It can get boring and stuff. So instead, what I'm thinking of doing in the future and as of late, like like these next few videos and stuff is to create videos around questions. So uh, so essentially today's video topic is going to be, it was a comment that was left by Holly. It was, I'd love to see some info on how you edit your videos and what program you use. So essentially today's video, I'm just gonna walk through how I edit my videos, sort of a behind the scenes look at, you know, what I do to edit these vlogs and, and show you guys like the process behind all that and that kind of stuff. So I have my laptop here and I am getting ready to edit some videos. So let's get started. So guys, to start off, I have my laptop here. The computer I use is a MacBook Air. I believe this is a 2013 11 inch, I believe. And I also have a hard drive here as well. I have a few hard drives. This is my second hard drive that I have. The brand is Seagate. They're pretty awesome hard drives, especially this one's a really good one. The two terabyte, I've been using the ones for a while. Well, the only other hard drive, my very first hard drive was a one terabyte. I got the two terabyte because I'm creating more content, so I want to be able to store it all. Reason being why that's labeled number two. But this this is a good hard drive does the job really well for me. I got this one from JB Hi-Fi. So if you guys are from Australia and want to check it out, get it from there. So I'm pretty old school with my technologies and stuff, but I also use this thing here as well. All it is is a really old school SD card converter. I just put my SD card into this and then I plug it in with USB capability. Only because this MacBook doesn't have SD card slot, so I use this. I was using a USB with a little SD slip into the back of that, but it stopped working and I picked this up from the thrift, like pretty cheap. So I just got that and it does the job for me. But I'll also have links down below for all of the products and stuff that I share in this video. They will be affiliate links, so, so if you purchase through that link, I get a small commission, which is no charge to you. Essentially, let's get stuck into editing. So the way I will do it is probably not the correct way or the, the official way to do things, but this is just my process. So if we just pop over to my other hard drive that I have here, I essentially have it in a folder that's called Cody Orgel YouTube videos and I have my different adventures here. The Japan bicycle tours that I did, if you guys aren't familiar, I'll have a link down below for that series. I have it listed here in days, so day one through to whatever, day 44. And then inside a folder, for example, I'll have what cameras I was using. At this time of recording this vlog, I was using a silver camera and a purple camera and a GoPro. So I'll have all the different footage in there. But let's give you guys another example. See, for example, day 18 here, I have the camera. And then if I have a drone, I'll have drone footage in there separate as well and the GoPro. So essentially it's pretty organized and then all I'll do is gather all of these files and then I'll put them into Final Cut and I'll start the editing process. But for me, I think it's pretty important to, to hold these raw files in some folders that uh, well organized so you can keep on track of them. I know some people who add what day it is, like say for example, Friday the 5th of January, they'll put that date in the folder if they're vlogging that day, which is probably a better way of doing it. I think I might start adopting to do that. See, I've always got, I'm not perfect. I have been vlogging for around 240 days and I'm learning as I go. So this is a process and I'm just making this video just to show you guys what my process is. And of course that process isn't the perfect way to do things. So just have that in mind. It is my way of doing things. So let's head over to Final Cut Pro. Now I have um, a video that I just edited on here. So I'm going to get rid of this one. As you can see, like for an example of a completed edited video, it looks pretty simple. Like I have a bit of music behind some silent clips of sort of like B-roll stuff and sped up shots and then just talking clips and essentially I'm just cutting it to make it flow nicely. But let me go into a little bit more detail with editing this current video that I have to upload. It's probably not the right way but it's so much easier for me to do this. I go to the folder, select everything I have and just drag and drop it into here, hold it for a little bit and eventually it'll pop in like that and then I'll let go. And then that's it. That's all in order as well, which is handy. What I should mention beforehand is to have a look at this thing here, this importing media bar. You got to sort of wait for this to load and import the media before you can start editing because it can get a laggy and stuff. And we should be ready to start editing. So for me, a normal edit, like the average edit would take, if I was traveling and doing 
adventure traveling and doing vlogs about that sort of stuff that is going to take a bit longer and that's probably about the hour to the hour and a half plus editing time only because there's so many shots and, and they're such longer vlogs because you know you've got so much more stuff that you're doing in the day to, to document what i'm doing at the moment something like that it would take maybe half an hour to edit or even less because it's just a lot of talking of ideas and stuff like that it's a lot less edit intensive if that makes sense with the edits like this edit here it was just starting out with me putting on my shoes something simple i was just leading myself walking out to the car going into the car sort of starting off the vlog and and then as I was doing this, I was going to have music playing behind and then put in little snippets of text. So I'll drag over some text, very simple stuff, and drop it here. Maybe cut it by pressing and dragging back. And then we'll edit this in text here. And I'll just type something in like Cody Orgle vlog, bring the font up to something like that. And then I like good old bold, which works good. We'll do something like that. We drag it to the center. So we'll play it. Maybe cut that back. And then who wants to watch me put on my shoes so long? Cut it until I get the other shoe on there. And then get rid of that. All right. Don't want to be too long with this clip. Then we'll go to walking out the door. to get the one shot there so we'll go like this boom i wanted to get the shot of me opening in the key so i'll cut it to there and then it'll be bam put it in unlock and that's the clip so then what i want is to add another bit of text here like that and we'll put in here the vlog number so vlog 245 i just got to double check what i'm up to Yep, 245. So then we'll make this a bit bigger. Pop that up here. And then essentially I'll add music here. So what I wanted to do is just maybe bring these sounds down. Some tips. This is what I, I wanted to make another video about like sort of tips about vlogging. Like what I've learned over my time of vlogging. Like tips I can bring to you guys. But just one tip that I found is that sounds are pretty good to include in a video. Like sometimes like I used to get carried away. However, like, you know, sounds that we get in everyday life are pretty good to include in a vlog. And sometimes I would just eliminate all those sounds and just put music over the top. But sometimes we need those sounds as well just to make that connection. So that's what I might include in this one just the slipping on the shoes and stuff. Let's get to adding some music. So some things I just have notes here that you can do to get music is you can use SoundCloud for one, or you can use, I think it's Audio Library, which is YouTube run and that is free royalty music. So you can go over there and find copyright free music that you can include and then you can monetize your videos on top of that. You can also sign up for Epidemic Sound. I have used that subscription company a few times and I do recommend it. So I'll have a link down below for all of those. But what I'm doing at the moment, my personal experience is I am not monetizing my videos. I'm just putting it out there just to document my life and share my life story with you guys. So I'm not, I'm not trying to make money monetizing on these videos as of yet. So what I'm doing is I essentially just head over to YouTube, type in, I'm into like chill indie pop sort of music at the moment. So what I'll do is go to YouTube and I'll type in one of the keywords I use is like chill tunes or something like that and then I go for the tunes or the videos that are like an hour long or so so I just downloaded this one recently so for example let's just choose chill study beats 2 so guys this is a pretty cool tune so what I'll do is I'll go here after the www dot put two S's enter shout out to CP for let me know about this one it's a really cool trick and then you'll scroll down to here and go download video in browser and then click the download for this example I just go to mp4 and click download and then it should download here it'll take a bit so having that said I have one that I already downloaded uh, I like this one so I'm going to drag it into here just underneath the video clips and we'll find a good tune Something like this, guys, looks like the start of a new song. All right, guys, so I really like the start to this. So I'm going to cut it there. Also, while I'm doing this, I'm hitting short keys. So short keys are a super awesome thing to learn in Final Cut Pro. So if you drop down this menu here, you'll have all of the actions you can take. So you can range select. So that's R. So the sticky keys are trim is T. B is blade, which is what I just did there, which is cut it. I'll just click on this, get rid of that. But yeah, oh, I wanted to keep that one, sorry. 
So then I'll zoom out. Zoom out, I just pinch it and drag out. So this is going to be the beginning of the vlog music. So we're going to play this. And then we're going to add in this train clip. Bring down the volume because I don't want any of the song or background noise. Play this. So I might give that a cut about here and then here and then I might speed it up. So to speed up, I click on this and then I'll drop down this one here and we'll go fast. Now this is two times faster, four times, eight times. I might just do two times for this one and then play it from here and just see what it looks like. See, I like to get it with the drop of the beat. So let's cut it back to about there. And then we might speed it up here again, guys. Now during the editing process, this gets quite laggy, like when you speed up something, it might jump. So just have that in mind, but once you render it, it should be all cool. So didn't use that clip and that clip I didn't use. So the next bit here, uh, I don't want to use music because I'm talking, so I'll cut it there, use the B tool, click on this, and then we'll bring the volume down. I like a good maybe 35 minus for like background music. You can just hear it. Now this part I don't talk because I'm waiting until the camera gets in focus. So I'm going to get rid of all of that. And we're going to drag this over here so we don't lose it. Click get rid of that and we'll see what it sounds like. So I did a jump. So I'm just getting rid of like any mistakes that I make or anything like that. Getting rid of the arms, the R's and, and the wasted spaces. Like for example, you can see like here is a waste of space and that's annoying when you're watching it. Like, you know, it's not that annoying, but I find it is. That I might get rid of. So I'll just listen to it. I got up pretty late this morning. Got up at about never again. See that little pause there? There was a bit of a pause. That I don't really like that much of a pause. So I'll just drag and cut that. So what I'll do is through this process, I'm going through, especially the talking parts, I'm going through everything and just making sure that you know, it looks awesome. Like the YouTube videos, when you watch them, they're perfected. It's nothing to relate to real life. Real life, we make mistakes and stuff, but with something like this, it's so like pedicured and like, I don't know if that's the right word, but, but like trimmed down and everything to make it look really cool. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just getting rid of all that stuff. So essentially, I'll go through all of those talking clips and cut out all that stuff. I just finished my talking scene there. And now we're walking into the supermarket, blah, 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 pick up that. And then I start talking here. So what I'm going to do is just keep cutting it. It's very simple stuff. This is basically all I'm going to do for the rest of the vlog. So all I'm going to do is just cut out all unnecessary junk in the rest of this vlog just to make it flow nicely. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much all there is to it. But yeah, guys, if you have any more questions about how I edit, let me know. I think I pretty much covered as much as I could. It's pretty simple stuff, but I hope I help somebody out there who is just getting into vlogging and uh, wants some tips on how to edit videos. The best way to learn in my experience is just to do it. Just vlog and then edit and just learn as you go. There's power in just doing it day after day and becoming better than you were yesterday and just developing your skill because it's all it is, it's just a skill. So yeah, it's something you can develop over time and it's only going to come over time. So you need patience with it as well. It's not always going to be perfect. So just have that in mind. But essentially guys, I'm going to finish off editing this and I will show you guys what it looks like and how to render stuff like that. So finishing off and concluding guys, essentially when I finished editing the video, I'll click up here on this arrow and I'll go Apple device 1080p because 1080p is what I shoot in. And then I'll just name it vlogs for now and then we'll go next and this will render and I'll complete it as a file which will be ready to upload to YouTube. So you click on this, it'll let you know how long you got and you'll be all good. But that is it for this video guys. If you got some value, give us a thumbs up, drop some comments below for more video ideas. See you in the next video. Bye.